Hey, what is up, beautiful people? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, you already know what time it is. Welcome back, sweetie. Welcome back, honey. If you are new, Ikamalami Uziana Gama, aka Lazimunga, but you can call me Zelda Freak. So, if you're new to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment. It really, really helps my channel to grow. So in today's video, I'll be just taking you guys through my self-love, self-acceptance journey. Um, yeah, we'll basically be talking about self-love and self-acceptance. So growing up, I've always been like a bubbly kid. I've always been like bubbly. I've always wanted to like participate in different activities. I've always just wanted to just get my hands here and there. Like I wanted to participate in everything from preschool to primary i just wanted to be like hands-on so i was so bubbly i wanted to participate in everything so you know when you grow up and like you, you know when you like um let me just take it back so when my mom was pregnant she wanted to have like a boy child when she was pregnant with me she wanted to have like a boy child so yeah unfortunately so like she never wanted like a girl she wanted to have a boy so like when i was growing up i kind of like got the experience that my mom initially wanted a boy so um in as much as she accepted me she loved me and she did everything for me there were times whereby i would feel that like it would be like much better if i were a boy so like i always envied the relationship my mom had with my brother like the bond they shared i've always envied that and i wanted that for myself and my mom but i didn't get it so i went on to the point whereby i became a tomboy like i started to just do everything that has to do with boys i started like dressing like guys i started doing boys activities even like home chores i preferred doing like the boy stuff like working in the garden and all that so even when i went to school i started like associating with myself with guys i had guy friends like it was cool i enjoyed it i loved it and as much as now at home like my mom was like cool and like she was cool with the whole thing that like, i'm a girl you know but the stigma in me the fact that there was a time whereby i thought that she wanted a boy and she wished that i was a boy and now i changed everything i wanted to be a boy so badly and there were times about i would pray to god and be like but god why did you just make me a girl my mother wanted a boy why why didn't you just listen to her prayers like i will be having that relationship she has with my brother right now so like um i'm trying to like fast forward the story because i don't want this video to be too long so like first forward growing up i just like as i was growing like it just became like it just became like what can i say like more and more and more so um at this time now i'm going to high school i went to high school i associated myself with guys i had a lot of guy friends than i had with girls so my mom started to be worried because now um i was like in my puberty like my boobs were showing my hips were showing like everything started showing you know the girls stuff so she was so worried and she never wanted me to associate myself with guys so remember, I've always associated myself with guys. Like I've always like enjoyed being in like friendship with guys. So when puberty came and when I started to like have my boobs, have my hips, have my body, like I started hating my body so much. I hated my body to the point where by that I just hated looking myself in the mirror. If there was a way that I could like close my eyes or blindfold my eyes, take a shower, get dressed and just open my eyes of the world. I hated my body so much. I hated seeing my boobs. I hated seeing my hips. I hated seeing my butt grow big. So like I was, I just hated myself. And there was no one and I had no one in the space of like, just telling me that, you know what, you're cool. It's okay to look like this. You're beautiful. Like I had no one to tell me that. And I just figured everything out for myself. So I hated myself so much. I hated my body. I hated my body to the core. And when I went to high school, like it got worse. And my, when my boobs grow, grew bigger, like I had this one swimsuit that my mom bought me when I was supposed to go to summer camp. And I initially cried and wanted to go back home. Story for another day. But I used those swimsuits. Like I, I remember I went to Pep. I bought this like small bra. 
you know when we like with uh, black parents that you, they don't want you to like wear bras and everything la it was that with my story so i wore that bra underneath and then i wore the swimsuit just to like flatten my boobs you know but you know like these things man these things grow these things grow and they start showing and showing like i was so uncomfortable with my body i was very very uncomfortable i never wanted people to see me i never wanted like people to even see me naked even my mom i, I was just never i wasn't comfortable with like being in the same space as her like naked i was really really uncomfortable like um form one like everything happened my periods everything like i hated myself i really really hated myself but i forced things i continued forcing i was just dressing boyish i was just like everything i did it was boy like if you could hear my voice back then my voice <laughs> Child, I'm telling you, like, my voice was, like, so deep. I was just a guy. I was a boy. Like, if you will be in a room with me, like, they'll swear you with a man. Like, that, that is how big my voice was. So, like, first forward, and then I changed schools. I changed my secondary school, went to another school for high school. That was around my area. That is when I, I was just doing my form four then. I think it was 15 or 16. Take note that... Now my mom is like cool, is like, like she's cool. She has accepted that I'm a girl, but now the effect it has on me. So one thing that happened with this in this whole time, this whole process, the whole time I did that just so that I could like have this relationship with my mom. I thought if I change the way I dress, I thought if I change the way I look, the way I talk, the way I walk, my mom was gonna love me because she was gonna feel like I'm a boy, forgetting that girl i'm a girl i still have the boobs i still have my coochie i still have my bums like i i'm still a girl like i forgot all that and i just wanted to be a boy so badly i wanted like my mom's love so badly that i changed who i was not that my mom hated me but i wanted like this mother daughter relationship you see that relationship i'm talking about i never had that with my mom but i wanted that so badly I, I envied it so much when like they shared this bond with my brother and I felt like oh my god if only I were a boy so now I was in a relationship so that is when I started to like start to figure out myself because I felt like there is a time whereby I asked myself like why does this person love me so much why what is it he sees in me and then um I finished high school we're still dating and then i had a phone i remember my self-love and self acceptance journey started when after i bumped into this video one day self-love and self-acceptance this lady was sharing her story and i thought like you know what it's the same thing like it's the same thing as me that is when my self-love journey started i accepted myself i i started loving myself to the point whereby right now I can spend an hour standing in the mirror looking at my boy and appreciating the way that I am. It's not like I'm, I was idle, but I created a space whereby I accepted myself and I accepted my body. I accepted everything about me. And right now, I'm so glad that I'm at the point whereby I always tell myself when, every day that should God bless me with a girl child, I want to create a space for my baby to to like feel the love of not wanting to be someone else. I'll just want to make my baby girl feel that, you know what, it's okay. It's okay to be like this. I was born like this and appreciate the way they are. So like self-love is really, really important because it's a journey. Like it's a journey that you embark on from when the day you decide to just love and accept yourself up until you die. Because like society is always like expecting things from you. But if you have the love and the acceptance for yourself, you will always like f never be pressured by what society is telling, is saying about you or, or what is society is saying about your body or the way you look. I've spent so much time, I've spent a lot of my years trying to be something that I'm not, trying to be something that I will never be. Just imagine being a boy. I will never be a boy. That right now, I love myself. I love my body. I accept myself the way I am. So if there's something that you have to do as a person, whether you're a mom, a sister, or whatsoever, 
don't body shame other people don't make people feel insecure about like the way they are instead try to help them try to nurture the process of them accepting the way they are and just loving the way that they are i have to love myself and i did it for the fact that when i was so much trying to be someone else there are a lot of people that got hurt in the process i developed anger issues i was so angry with the fact that you know what i want this but i still don't get it like no matter how hard i'm trying i still don't, don't get this thing so like i changed like i started accepting myself and loving myself not because i wanted to impress people now but because i saw like the bad effect not accepting myself hate on the people around me i accepted myself because i discovered that in as much as i want to give out love i won't be able to see or understand that people love me or people like want to be friends with me if i don't make the relationship with myself i first have to make the relationship with myself love myself accept myself and be at peace with the person that i am um before going outside and like accepting love from someone else and accepting love from friends so that is what i learned it's so 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 much important to love and accept yourself like i cannot stress enough how important it is but yeah i am glad of the woman i'm becoming i'm glad of the woman that i am today and i'm grateful to each and everyone who accepted and loved me at the state that I was in and made me realize that it is more important that I love and accept myself and accept the way that I am. So yeah guys, I hope um, this video will help some of you. I would really appreciate if you will subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video with your friends. It might help someone. And um, yeah, just comment down below, share your thoughts. What can you say about uh, self-love and self-acceptance? What are your experiences? I would really, really love to hear your stories as well. So yeah, that is it from me to you today. Thank you so much for watching this video up until the end. I appreciate you all so, so, so much. I will see you once again in my next video.